check it out. We're running our five inch keen here. We've been dredging this area for weeks and weeks. So let's see if we can see this. Right up here where all these rocks are stacked. Stacked all along here. And up here where you see this big rock sticking out of the water. I think it right there, it's hard to see. We already dredged up there. We dredged this whole area about two feet off the bank and then about maybe 15 feet out wide from there. All the way up to where you see that rock is, all the way back to about right here. Good distance and it actually ran out. As we were getting moving forward, it was getting better. But the gold actually ran out. So we sampled, series of sample holes all over the place up there. Waterfall, everything's been all mined out. There's nothing down there but tailings. It was really heartbreaking. So we had to drop back here and pick up where we left off behind. But when we dredged, we put our tailings off to the right. So we're not having to go through too much tailings. But we're actually on great gold. It's just as good as it was up there. So for North Georgia, it's good. I mean, we're getting, you know, kind of close to about a gram an hour, 0.7 grams per hour here and there. So that's what we had to do. We had to drop back. Now, sometimes that's why it's so important to sample. When you find good gold, drop back. So make sure you're not dumping a bunch of tailings where there might be great ground because we thought our pay streak would run all the way up to the waterfall and it'd be a bonanza, but it just wasn't the case. So just be careful where you put your tailings and I think you have to do this a couple times. You gotta put your tailings on uh, some pretty good gold to really learn that it's all about sampling. So after this runs out, this is all exposed bedrock here, all of it, bedrock. I think this used to be a waterfall a long time ago. I think I used to connect. And I think thousands of years it's been eroding and then so behind this area it looks super still. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like perfectly still back there. It's a nice slow zone. If there was good gold up here, there's definitely gonna be good gold up there. So we're actually gonna take our four inch dredge over here. Next time it rains and the water raises, we're gonna float it back a little bit here. And we're gonna do a series of sample holes back there all the way up into where you can see there's a little bridge over there. So this way, we gotta leave in two weeks. So this way we'll have an area completely sampled and mapped out for next year. We won't have to look for anything. So that'll help a lot. It's all about planning ahead and uh, sampling. Sample, sample, sample.